Okay, so this is going to be posted on Moodle. Um, this is a PDF and it has all the links that are clickable. So we're going to go down here to access SketchUp and click on that. And so I'm going to give you a very brief overview of the tools. Um, this is the web version. There is a desktop application. That's actually the one I'm familiar with. But um, the things aren't that difficult on here that we're going to be using. So they translate, not too bad. Um, but most of you probably aren't as familiar with SketchUp, so it shouldn't matter anyways. Um, so you're going to click here on Start Modeling, and it's going to open up this page. And, oh, sorry, I was messing with this beforehand. Um, normally you're going to see a, we'll just do Create New. Um, feet and inches, okay. So it's always going to open up a scene with this little lady there. It's primarily an architecture um, software, so um, that's why there's always a person for human scale. All of your drawing tools are on here on the left, and then on the right hand side is going to be like your outliner, your settings, any kind of color. Also, you have your inspector, which is sort of like layers and any other program you know. Um, basically, to make this in 2D drawing mode, you're going to come here to scenes and click on this and it is 3d so you know if you hit your rotate button it's going to change your orientation but just know that you can always come back here and it will like make it a 2d drawing again um we also before we start need to check this format this is the one i want to be in and you can change the precision i usually do snap intervals and i bring this just down to an even number um, just because it's cleaner to work with um, but you can change it to whatever um, by no means and what I'm going to cover um, going to be everything that you can do with SketchUp and tire making like you guys can go crazy and further research um, more tools that I'm not going to explain here today so the way this works is this measurement thing down here on the right hand side is going to be super important um, and we're going to start with drawing a rectangle. So you're going to come here, little rectangle tool, and you just click once. And you can you see the numbers change on the right hand bottom. Super fantastic. Um, and this is why I like SketchUp. Even though you could do this very easily in Illustrator, it's just the precision in SketchUp is awesome. And also having that live number. So in order to make my square, instead of, you can click again, right? And it's going to make it. And, it's going to make whatever dimensions I click on it, right? But that's not actually what I want. Um, but if you click once and then you type in your dimensions, it's going to make that exact um, measurement. So um, for a, I'm just going to go ahead here and make this 24 by 15. Um, so I'm going to type in 24 and then you have to do the two little colons for inch. Every time you enter a new number, you have to do comma, and then I'm going to type in by 15 inch, 24 by 15. Okay, so from here, I think my view get a little, oh no, no, it's right, it's right, it's just I need to move this. Okay, so in order to move this, because this is kind of driving me crazy, the placement, um, there's a move tool right here it and what's nice about this is that you can hover over stuff um, this is not a software I use every day so it's really fantastic when you have these little measurement or these little menus pop up that tell you what they are um, I'm a big fan of this <laughs> because I'm not on SketchUp every day so it's it's fantastic but that's how you move an object um, okay so from here, I want to double check to make sure I entered everything in correctly. And I also want to double check that my units are reading correctly like they should be. You have this tool. It's a tape measure tool. It's going to measure. See, it says length 24. But it's, and that's just if you want to make a measurement, but you don't want to leave a mark, right? 24, 15, that's correct. But if I want to be able to visually track this, What's great about this little tool right here, let me hover over, what does it say? Dimensions is what it's called. If you click on the corner here and then you click at the other corner here, whoops, 
didn't do this first one, and then you pull up, it's gonna literally show me those measurements, which is super fantastic. So I know my pattern, or my measurement units are correct. Sometimes it may start up differently. Just you know, make sure that it's the right format. Um, you know, if you're studying abroad and they work in centimeters, there's also centimeters in in this program too, which is awesome. Um, so let's see, what else should I show you? Okay, so from here, what's really great is that you can draw a line. So that's my base, that's the width of my fabric and my length of my fabric. So I'm saying that this is my solid edge right here. Um, and I'm basing this number off 24 by 15 because um, I was just, you know, planning on doing a, like a little, little drape. But what's great about this is you can prepare pieces, map out the sides, cut them out, and then you have record of it. And then you can play with the pieces with the drape. And so what I figured is I'm doing working on a half scale right now. So half of 48 is 24. So I'm literally dividing the number in half. So this would really be 48 by, by 30 um, for the full width for like human scale, but I'm working half scale. So my numbers are smaller. But what's great about this is when you use the line tool, come here and you see it says on edge, the red. When you hit the blue, it will show you the midpoint of whatever that line is. And so that's really great. You always know where the midpoint is. Um, and I, you know, I was, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I'm, this is going to be very, very simple thing. I just want to show you the tools and how to use them. So I want to click on the midpoint, right? And I think, well, what's great about this is, do you see in the bottom like the numbers are going up and down? So, <clears throat> because. <laughs> I want to work with clean numbers really personally to make my life easier I would recommend it if you can round to the to the half inch you know why not there's no reason to be um, doing measurements in between the half inch for the most part because of the nature of these kinds of patterns they're not super fitted so I would say the cleaner and the easier the number you can you can work with the better whole numbers or half numbers I recommend three-fourths and a fourth are great too, but I just recommend whole numbers and half numbers to just start. Um, so that being said, I can get a general idea off my eye. You know, if I do here, like say, I can see that right here, if I click, it's a little shy of 19 inches. So let's say I wanna make that 19 inches. I can just type 19, the two little lines, you know, the two little lines make inch mark, what is it? Um, I don't know why I can't remember the name of those. Hit enter. And now that's going to be 19. So what I can do is just from this point up, I could draw a line up, draw a line up. Now I don't know these other measurements down over here, but that's okay because I can figure them out very fast. Going back to the dimensions tool, bam, bam. You click, you click, and then you drag forward. Although interesting enough oh do you see that I actually clicked off the pattern a little bit if you see it actually clicked in the wrong spot yeah so let me whoop sorry looks like you're gonna have to select the move tool right click and hit delete okay so let's do that again go back to the dimensions tool press a little button here, make sure it clicks. Okay, I can see that it's a whole number. I was just moving too fast. Okay, five, five inches. Great. I know that's correct because I'm working with whole numbers here. So, and I can come back here, you know. I mean, sure, you can do that mental math, but it's great because you could just come in here and just be like, I wanna draw some, some lines on this amount of width of fabric. You know, well, I guess I already had 19. I don't know why I put that one there. Oh, oh well. Well, it's great because you can literally come in here, draw some lines, right? Have no plan, just be like, I want to drape something. And I know this width I want to work with. And, you know, I'm putting all the numbers here. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs>
got a phone call. Sorry about that. All right, so what's also cool about this is you have this little paint bucket. I mean, it's, it's pretty intuitive, but uh, you come in here, paint different colors. Now, this is also, <sighs> sorry, again, I have a phone call. Okay, so um, you can come in here and paint uh, different colors, right? Which is great. Um, you can also edit the colors. Now, in the same materials pattern or panel, there's going to be like materials like rock and stuff. Don't worry about that. You can just edit the colors, you know. Um, you don't have to worry about doing materials. I, I, I've never used materials for something like this. I keep it simple. Simple the better, you know. Um, that's my motto when it comes to this. Um, okay, yeah, so, and then you have all your pieces, you know, um, let's see, oh, that's right, <laughs> you have all your pieces that are color-coded, so you don't mix anything up, I don't know, it's really great, um, although, that's the same color, what am I doing, <laughs> all right, um, oh, interesting, let me see something real fast. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. There it is. Anyways, so um, that is the basics for getting started with SketchUp. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me just go through these real fast just to make sure I've covered everything for the most part. Oh, okay. Here's another thing I'm going to cover real fast. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna make a triangle here, or I'm just gonna make a box. We're gonna do five, the two little lines to make it look like an inch an inch. Five, and then uh, two little lines. If you look at my right hand corner, that's what I'm typing right now. Okay, now so we have this box, and the way it, this program works too is your middle is also separate from your edges. Um, just so you know, um, because this is a 3D software, so your faces are separate from your edges, uh, so don't freak out if the middle bleeds or something like that. So five inch, inch, and little five again, and then two little lines to make an inch. Okay. So then we're going to click on this. Okay. Well, actually... Let me find, oh, here it is. Yeah. So from point. So what's great about this is this is a rotate tool. Whoops. That's not the rotate tool I want. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? Okay, sorry. <laughs> This one has to do with arcs, um, my fault. Actually, you go here in the move tool, the move tool, rotate, makes sense. Okay, so when you get the little rotate, um, when you get the little uh, protractor here, uh, you're gonna click on the corner, right? You click on the other corner, and then that's going to rotate your line. Oh. But, Ignore me for a sec while I figure this out because um, that's not supposed to rotate like that. Okay. So let's see, rotate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know what happened. My bad. Okay, so what happened was that I had an edge selected. So when I went to go rotate this, okay, I clicked here and I clicked here, it's gonna rotate that edge, right? Not the whole square. That's not what I wanted. So in order to do this, you have to select the entire shape. Click here and you're gonna click the line that you wanna rotate on and then you're literally just gonna turn it and it's gonna turn the whole axis. You can type in the angle you want to, like if you wanna rotate it on a 45 degree angle, it will rotate on a 45 degree angle just like so. Um, so if you decide to make triangles, um, 
You can rotate things like that, or you can just come in here and just draw lines, um, which is great. And just like you can on the other lines, really great. Uh, whoops. Just like you can on the other lines, you can come in here and, and make measurements, um, which is really great too when you're laying out your fabric and you want to double check to make sure that um, your your edges are straight. Um, you can come in here and just like double check to make sure your pieces are squared by measuring corner to corner too. Um, that's also really helpful too. I've done that a few times. Just to double check. Oh, is this square? This should measure about this. Okay, okay, yeah. So, um, let's see. Yeah, there is this cool little thing if you want to, like, you know, label your pattern pieces. You can say zero waves pattern. And it will point to a section or whatever or if you want to remember to fold in. There's also, um, let me see, there is, and you don't want to use that one, it's a push pull. There's a really cool way to offset, it's pretty handy actually, to offset um, Like if you want to do seam allowances, I mean, you could always just, uh, you know, what's funny is I was, I was just on this earlier and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. And now all of a sudden I'm sitting here trying to show you and I can't find it. <laughs> all right. Let me figure this out really fast. Okay. Mild brain fart there. I, I remember now it's underneath of. The rectangle tool you're gonna go here it's called uh, offset um, and so the way this works is you click on an edge whoop, you get the little red symbol right you click on that edge and then if you um, move your mouse left to right it will it will visually see it but if you look on the right hand corner and get at the distance you can put uh, zero point five and then a little inch symbol, enter. And now, all of a sudden, my seam allowances are all incorporated into the pattern. Um, so that's really handy. Um, I can't believe I had forgotten. So, um, more specific questions I can answer in class, but this was just a reference for if you forget anything, um, I figured this would be an easy way for you to, um, or for this to jog your memory. Um, so I hope that this is something that you'll use in the future and um, I look forward to doing the real workshop with you guys in studio.